Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and it's time for another Wally -E update. Now, if you recall in the last one, I said that that would be the last Wally -E update. And obviously that is not the case because this is another one. And there are several reasons and excuses I could throw at you. So the biggest reason is just that May was an extremely busy month and I didn't have time to work on him. And I've been working on this project for uh, way too long and I think it's time for it to finally get done. So this channel is officially in Wally -E lockdown mode. So basically what that means is this channel is mostly going to be Wally -E until I have this complete, um, which hopefully will be sometime in the next two weeks because this is literally all I'm going to work on. Um, I do have, I think, two other videos that will be coming out um, in the meantime, and that's just stuff that I already had scheduled and pretty much ready to go. So um, you will see Mighty Number no. 9 um, yet this week and then possibly one other video. But aside from that, it will be purely Wally -E update videos um, until I have Wally -E completed and that video delivered to you guys. And along those lines, I'm sure some of you have already noticed, but the video posting schedule will be a little bit wonky. So just bear with me, um, and if you'd like more updates, follow my Twitter. I'll try to post there to keep everyone in the loop. But otherwise, I'll be posting um, at least one Wally -E update a week until it's done. Most likely, I'll be posting two or more. So with all that said, let's actually talk about Wally. -E. So the body is officially in my wife's hands for painting, so she will be taking care of that. Um, and then in the meantime, I need to figure out the wheel systems. Um, I have them printed, we glued them together, and um, I need to test out the treads mostly. So we'll be doing that today, and then we will start to mess with the electronics a little bit. So let's get into it. Okay, so the biggest hurdle I have as far as the printing goes is the treads. Um, and this is what I came up with so far. Okay, so basically it has little slots here for the actual spokes of the wheels to go into. Then it's got little tabs here that go into slots down here on other ones so they can link together. And they'll basically just go like this. And then they'll kind of perform like a, you know, they'll, they'll bend to a certain degree. So then if I put that like that, and then I take the wheel that I have, I can actually just go right over to test that it fits well within those spokes, and it does. But I do have to say that I am a little worried um, about how far these can bend. Because the way I designed them, I was thinking that um, it would be a 90 degree angle that you'd have to go in. Because you can see those little um, tabs there are at a 90 degree angle. But I didn't really think about it and it looks like it doesn't take 90 degrees to actually go in there. It'll come apart at a significantly light, lower angle than that. So like this one. I can pull it apart pretty easily um, at probably, I don't know, maybe 60 degrees or something like that. And so I'm worried that they won't stay together the complete way around the wheel system. I'll get all these printed and then we'll put them on the wheel system and just test it out. Okay guys, well this is the completed wheel system. Um, it's all glued together and everything. So that's good and the, the treads are on it as you can see. But um, just as I feared, this top one right here um, is a little bit too sharp of an angle for these to handle. Overall, it kind of works. So that is what will happen right there. Um, good news is the, these are actually the perfect width and these, um, the spoke system here actually works really well. So that will work. The part that's failing is just the, the hinge there. So I need to come up with something different to fix that. But aside from the treads, um, this is basically how the wheel system is going to work. The motor will attach here and it will push this, making the whole system roll. So you can see the gears actually turning there, which is, uh, which is good to see. So it's back to the drawing board with the treads. Um, I'll probably put that in the next update video. Okay, so in order to get started on the electronics, um, the first thing I'm going to be testing out is this uh, micro SD card reader here. And I've actually got a micro SD card right there that I'll be using to test with. And then if, what this is eventually going to do is feed this speaker right here to get Wally to make his noises. So all the um, sound files will be stored on this micro SD card and that'll be in here. So then the Arduino over there will process all that and send it to this speaker. 
So that's my plans for that. But uh, this one did not come pre-soldered to these pins, so um, I will be soldering that up right now. Alright, there we have it. That came out pretty good. So I guess the next thing is just to test it out. Okay, so now that we've got that soldered up, um, I got it hooked up to the Arduino, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but I'm testing it out. And I've never messed with an SD card before, or SD card reader with Arduino and stuff like that. So this is all new to me. But I've got an SD card, well, micro SD card. Um, and I put a test wave file on it because that's ultimately what I'm going to be doing is playing a wave file. So let's just use that to test with. And I already tested this once, but I'll show you guys what I did. Um, so I'm going to stick the micro SD card in the Arduino thing. And this is actually just the card info sketch that comes with the Arduino um, IDE here. It's in um, examples. SD and then card info. So this is the one that I opened and then I just changed the chip select pin um, to the correct one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and upload it. And once it's done uploading, I'll open up the serial monitor and hopefully it will print out um, some info about the card. Let's see, a lot of gibberish so far. Oh, there we go. SD2 is the card type. Volume type is FAT16. And yep, it's got our test.wav file right there. So I think that's a success. Okay, so next is to hook up the speaker and see if we can do anything with that. I've never messed with any of those either um, with Arduino. So this is all new ground for me. So now it's time to test the speaker out. Um, I think I've got it wired up correctly. I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just gonna use this sketch here. It's part of the Arduino um, examples that it comes with. Um, it's under digital and then tone melody and it basically just plays some tones from a speaker and it has this separate pitches file um, to let you pick out individual notes so that's good but I think I'm just gonna leave it as is the only thing I changed was the pin that the um, speaker is connected to so I'm gonna upload this and then we'll test it out okay so here you can see I have the speaker hooked up and then the SD card reader back there um, I don't have these two working together yet, so this is literally just a test for the speaker. So let's give it a shot. Okay, it's uploading. Should play a sound. Not sure if you guys could hear that. It's a very, very faint sound. Try it again with the mic closer. That's a good sign. So we have the speaker working and we have the SD card reader working. Now I just need to make it read the audio file off of there and then um, transfer it to here. And I do not know how to do that. So um, I will need to do a little bit of research, but that'll probably be in the next Wally -E update video. All right, guys, so that was it for this update. Um, there will be another update coming very soon. And in that one, we will uh, take a look at fixing the treads and getting the wheel systems working a little bit better. And then we will also dive farther into the electronics and hopefully get some sound or some uh, yeah some Wally sounds playing for you. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Again, I apologize this is taking so long, um, but it's officially Wally lockdown mode, so it will get done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.